the 25th of May 2015 and it's time for Mal Norton's card trick of the week and it's a bank holiday and we're looking at Robert Lenkovic's mural and it's been covered up, he's now got a woody on his naughty bits which went out in the local trash paper on uh, Saturday let's see what Malcolm's doing today hello Malcolm, you're still looking a little bored there wrong person again oh, hello it's a, it's a bit like the sea in here today, isn't it? Rolling card situation. Good Morgan. On another the bank holiday. bad jokes are supposed to come at the end. On another bank holiday. Is it? I did say bank holiday, not oh, right. W holiday. Well, that's just put this up to the 18 rating, hasn't Weekend it? holiday. Yes, we have a weekend holiday, and I thought uh, uh, I'll do a card trick later just because I can, but uh, I thought today I would show you this. This was taught to me by my father, who was on the Titanic. Was it Lloyd George? Or did he just know your father? Uh, no, my father was on the ti 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 Titanic. He just went down very well. <laughs> uh, 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 I could tell you. get that sinking, sinking feeling when I come in. I could, uh, is it worth it every week? Yeah. Did I miss it then? <laughs> no, <laughs> do this, is the, this is the trick. He would walk out in front of his audience, he would take a, a green handkerchief, he would start to tuck it into his left fist, and as it began to emerge from the other end, it would begin to change colour. My word, that's magic. Now, whilst waiting for the applause... And you've got to get your air mileage on it. obviously Sorry. isn't going to come today, yeah. uh, he would continue until it turned completely... I've got the clap, I've just given you the clap. There were, of course, sceptics in his audience, to which his usual reply was... <laughs> now, one day, my father said to me, you're going to be desperate to earn a living. Mm, okay. Not worked in intensive care unit before. It's nice here, isn't it? What you need is two handkerchiefs. You need the yellow Nothing handkerchief. Nothing to sniff at. And, of course, you need the green handkerchief. Now, the green handkerchief, as we all know, is the one that's sat over here. So, what you do... Before you walk out in front of your audience, you take the green handkerchief and you tuck it into your left fist like this. You then walk out in front of your audience, but you don't open this hand. If you do that, you're going to spoil the whole thing. Okay. Uh -huh. Keep it uh, tightly closed while you wave this handkerchief around. Uh, of course, don't wave this around too much because this is Plymouth. People do start to talk. You then take the yellow handkerchief, tuck it into this fist. This pushes the green handkerchief out of your bottom. I'm going to tell you a story about bottoms later. Um, obviously, when you're doing this, make sure you don't do this, because this does somewhat expose the secret. Make sure you tuck the end of the yellow bit in. You now know as much about this as anybody else. Just shh, don't tell anybody. And that's magic. And that's tragic. Um, save the upset. Save the applause. And uh, card trick of the week, simply because yeah. we can, and I've been playing around with this, and I should point out Chris has nothing to do with this. God forbid he ever does. Uh, but I'm just going to go through here. Chris, you shout stop when you get the urge. Uh, stop. Okay, that one there. Remember this card, people at home and people on the end of the camera. It's very appropriate. Okay. Uh, Maybe I should know what it is from that. I have no idea. Uh, it is my job as a magician to now... I didn't now give you a keyword because I've never talked to you about it before. Find your card in a strange and unusual manner, hopefully. And this entails going... One, two, and we do this. Why do we do this? Because you can. Because we can. My word, that's clever. And what's that called? Showing off. Or otherwise known as the smug git magician move. However, coming to the grand finale, hopefully we go round and round and round. And, and that's the one. It's the Queen of Clubs. No, it's the Queen of Spades. The Queen of Spades, sorry, I don't know my car. Because <laughs> she has not know my cards oh, at all. Yeah. That's why we usually get them to sign it, but it's difficult. Easy to catch me out. Talking about bottoms, why, why is the UK obsessed with bottom? I don't know. Why is UK obsessed with bottom? 
because it keeps coming bottom at the Eurovision Song Contest. Yeah, that's just not funny, is it? <laughs> Get out of here. Mm, thank you. Have a good, <laughs> have a good day. <laughs> It's not time to make a change To so relax and take it easy You're still young And it's your fault There's so much you have to know Find a girl and settle down And if you want, you can marry Look at me I am old, but I'm happy I was once like you are now And I know that it's not easy to be calm when you found something going on But take your time and think a lot Think of everything you've got For you will still be here tomorrow But your dreams may not And how could I try to explain And when you do you turn away Cause you've always been the same same old stories And from the moment that I talked And you ordered me to listen There's no way that I know That I have to go away And I know I have to go away And I know I have to go away Good morning. On another the bank holiday. The bad jokes are supposed to come at the end. On another bank holiday. Is it? I did say bank holiday, not right. W holiday. Well, that's just put this up to the 18 rating, hasn't weekend it? Weekend holiday. Yes, we have a weekend holiday, and I thought uh, uh, I'll do a card trick later, just because I can. But uh, I thought today I would show you this. This was taught to me by my father, who was on the Titanic. Was it Lloyd George, or did he just know your father? Uh, no, my father was on the Titanic. He just went down very well. <laughs> uh, I could just get that sinking, sinking feeling when I come in. I could, uh, is it worth it every week? Okay. Yeah, Did I miss it then? <laughs> no. Do it this again. is the, this is tricky. He would walk out in front of his audience. He would take a, a green handkerchief. He would start to tuck it into his left fist. And as it began to emerge from the other end, it would begin to change colour. My word, that's magic. Now, whilst waiting for the applause... And you've got to get your air mileage on it. obviously Sorry. isn't going to come today. Yeah. Uh, he would continue until it turned completely... I've got the clap, I've just given you the clap. Yellow. There were, of course, sceptics in his audience, to which his usual reply was... <laughs> now, one day, my father said to me, you're going to be desperate to earn a living. Mm, okay. Not worked in intensive care unit before. It's nicer, isn't it? What you need is two handkerchiefs. You need the yellow Nothing handkerchief. Nothing to sniff at. And of course, you need the green handkerchief. Now, the green handkerchief, as we all know, is the one that's sat over here. So, what you do before you walk out in front of your audience, you take the green handkerchief and you tuck it into your left fist like this. You then walk out in front of your audience, but you don't open this hand. Because if you do that, you're going to spoil the whole thing. <laughs> Keep it uh, tightly closed while you wave this handkerchief around. Uh, of course, don't wave this around too much because this is Plymouth. People do start to talk. 
You then take the yellow handkerchief, tuck it into this fist. This pushes the green handkerchief out of your bottom. I'm going to tell you a story about bottoms later. Um, obviously, when you're doing this, make sure you don't do this.